Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from GymG Studio. Today I will show you how to combine native iOS development with Unity and run a Unity game from a native iOS app made with SwiftUI. First, start with a Unity project. I will make a 2D one, it's just for showcase. You can use your Unity game you already made. And then open the UI builder. I will use the UI builder to build a basic UI. Well, it will just be a quit button. So if you are interested in how to use the Unity UI builder, like a pro, watch our other video. I will link it for you in the description. It's worth a watch, trust me. I will speed the process up. By the way, if you are interested in more Unity videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's free. And if you have any feedback or any ideas, let us know in the comments. By the way, would you be interested in an Android video and would you like to know how to run a Unity game from Android using Jetpack Compose? Let us know in the comments. If you are interested, we will make one. Now we can create a UI script. We just need to get the button and we will add an on-click method. And this is everything we need for the sample project. First we will debug it to see if it's working. And of course we have to add the component. And as you see, it is working fine. And now we can call application.unload. This will unload the Unity game and bring us back to our native Swift UI app. And now we will export our Unity project as an iOS project to test it on Xcode. Now open Xcode and create a new project. We want to create an iOS project and we want to create an app. Name it whatever you want as usual. We will make a Swift UI project and here it is. Here is the newly created project. Now we have to import the unity iPhone.xcode workspace file. Just drag and drop the file into your Xcode project and it works fine. Now we have to add the unity framework to our project. This is pretty easy, just go on the project file, on frameworks, hit the plus button and select the Unity framework. Now we will create a simple button to open the game. Go into the content view and just create a button. You can do the same button as I did. Just put it in a vstack, the action will call unity.share.show and we have to get the window to navigate back from the Unity app into our iOS app. Now we need to get the window. This is a bit difficult in Swift UI. We just need a UI view representable and we want to get the window of our current view. And the last thing that is missing is our Unity class. I found this class on a blog post, on a medium post. I will link it for you in the description. So you can read it if you want. I can just recommend it. It's an awesome article. And now we will create a new Swift file. And I will paste the code in there. You can find the code in the blog post. Now it seems that everything is working fine. Now hit command R to run the app on your iPhone. Please make sure you run it on your iPhone because it won't work on the simulator. And it's running on the iPhone, but there's still a small problem. We need to add a launch screen. Now we will create a new file, just hit command N and we will create a new launch screen. Now go to your project file and then select your launch screen file. And yes, this is everything we need to start a Unity game from a native app made with Swift UI. Guys, I hope the video was helpful. Like the video if you liked the video, dislike the video if you disliked the video, subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content. We are also on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to follow us there as well. And have a great day. Start creating. Stop consuming.